What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of Revealed. In this episode, we're going to walk you through the bookcase project. Now, we showed you that we we're fabricating it here in the shop, but it has now been finished and installed, and it looks killer. So the entire concept of this bookcase was to blend seamlessly in with the walls. So it goes from wall to inside of bookcase without any transition. It almost looks like it's just a plastered opening with some vertical and horizontal shelving put in there. We did go with a two-tone to really contrast that shelving with the wall and give it a nice kind of pop. We opted to go with a combo core interior box. This allows us to make our shelves nice and square. That way we're not having to scribe the sides or the back. Everything has a nice flat surface to butt to. And the combo core is kind of the best of both worlds between an MDF and a plywood. We have the strength of the hardwood core, but the paintability and the nice surface of MDF. This allows us to make this transition from a painted plaster wall to a painted case. However, we had to marry those two materials somehow. With the help of some of our friends over at Fine Line Millworks in Indy, we came up with an idea to transition from combo core to plaster. That required making a modified mud flange and epoxying that straight to the combo core. We also screwed it in to make sure that it really wasn't going to move. This allowed us to screw the plaster right off of that mud flange, giving us a nice flat and smooth plastered face, returning back into our flat and smooth combo core box. From there, everything was going to be painted all at the same time, so the same color and the same technique. This way, that transition from plaster to wall to combo core case is absolutely seamless. The finishes are same, the paint is the same, the textures are the same, everything matches. We needed to fabricate these in a way that it was going to be easy to transport as well as easy to reassemble, but maintain that structural integrity because we're going to be loading these up with books, there is going to be a substantial amount of weight on these bookshelves. We opted to do a series of lap joints. Think of one piece being cut halfway through and a second piece being also cut halfway through, but on the mirroring sides. This allows those two pieces to slip together. And because we're dealing with something that was two and a quarter, and we'll get to that in a second, this allows them to slide seamlessly together. So to keep that structural integrity and all of that weight posted down onto something solid, we couldn't just leave these joints uh, fully open like you may in some other furniture designs we wanted to maintain that weight going vertically all the way down to the ground. So to do that, we went with a number of different options here. We made our shelves a full two and a quarter thickness solid shelf. So this is three layers of three quarter inch plywood all laminated together here in our shop. We then added in those lap joints, but for the horizontal pieces, we only went ahead and made those lap joints about an inch wide even though we had two and a quarter to play with, this still allows us to rest the edge of that horizontal shelf on the edges of the vertical uprights, keeping that weight posted down all the way to the ground to support the weight of these shelves. So on the verticals, we ended up notching out about three quarters all the way around the three sides of this post, both sides and the front. This also allows us to offset our overlaps so that the horizontal shelves do stick proud of the verticals by about an inch. In fabricating these, because there's three layers of plywood giving us that full two and a quarter inch thickness, we actually needed to glue the edge banding up using thin strips of solid wood. We did this with a series of calls and clamps. This made sure that we were nice and flat going across the full edge of that shelf. We did this for both the horizontals and the verticals alike. Now with our pieces fabricated and back from finish, it was time to install these. What we needed to do was install some three quarter cleats along the sides of each of these shelves. What the guys did out in the field was they were able to attach the top piece to the verticals by laying everything down on its back, making sure everything was nice and flush, and then screwing in down from the top, from the crown into the vertical supports, and they're able to do the same on the bottom. This is going to allow all that weight to post all the way down to the floor, through the feet, and onto the ledger to really support this bookcase. Once they had the verticals attached to the top and bottom pieces, they were able to stand that entire unit up and slide it right into place. Now remember that opening 
is already a combo core opening, so it was nice and flat. Our top piece was going to sit nice and flush up against that. To make things a little bit easier, they left everything set down just a hair so that they could push it into place and then raise it up right where it needed to be. So here in the shop, we tried to anticipate a lot of the paint buildup and make our lap joints a little bit oversized so that we could slide them on a little bit easier, but we still wanted them to be nice and snug. After we got everything back from paint, they were still a little bit too snug uh, to slide in very easily. So the guys ended up going back and cleaning up a little bit of that paint using a series of sanders on both the flat edge of the shelf and on that inside shoulder of the vertical supports. And they even applied some paste wax to those edges to help slide those shelves in a little bit easier. To help a little bit more with some of the friction, they went ahead and took the Raz sander, basically a grinder sander hybrid. And on that inside edge of the horizontal shelves, they beveled that corner just a little bit to help ease some of that friction and slide those shelves in a little bit nicer. This still took two to three guys to do. These shelves were long, so one person on each end and worked those vertical supports into the channels on the horizontals, giving us that perfect lap joinery with all of our spaces being nice and square and even, allowing them to then push those pieces right up tight into the wall and get these bookcases completely buttoned up. Guys, these bookcases are looking so good. If you have any questions about this and how we built it, please drop them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, tell your friends. And remember, the more questions we get here and on our Instagram messages, we will go ahead and keep these live segments going where we answer these questions live each week on Instagram. So please keep those comments rolling and check for that. Thanks for watching.